Hello there and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be reviewing Doctor Who The Five Doctors set from the most recent B&M Wave. So, let's get into it. So, I got this set uh, for Christmas this year, 2020, uh, Christmas 2021, um, and it's a pretty, pretty good set. Um so here we have the third Doctor. Again, I'm just going to mention it in case you haven't seen my Christmas haul video, which I really recommend you, you go and see. I would have liked to have seen a um, some like wrinkles on the third Doctor figure or maybe a Richard Herndl figure because he obviously played William Hartnell in The Five Doctors because unfortunately he passed away in... 1975 I think it was I'm not too sure on that though um but I love the outfit and it's a great recreation of the figure there um and it's I think it's a re repaint of um the Talons of Wang Chiang figure that was released in 2020 and the head sculpt is a re-release from the Monster of Peladon set in 2020. Oh, no, sorry. The Talons of Wang Chiang was released in like 2018 or 2017, I think. Um, and here is the Rassilon robot. Uh, it's just a repaint of the... Um, Cyber Guard Warrior from Earthshock. It's just a repaint of that figure. Um, it's a pretty good figure. I I much prefer this one over the um over the Earthshock one. It just looks a lot nicer. Um, and I think uh I know the Earthshock one does, but I think uh these come with a spare set of hands. I'm not too sure on that, so we'll have to have a look when we take it out of the box. Um, but yeah, pretty good figure. Um, let's go on to the last, and certainly not least, the Cybermen. I would have liked to have maybe seen, obviously, the Richard Herndl figure, um, or... Um, I don't know. I don't know what other figure could have been in there. Maybe a Sarah Jane, a Brigadier, maybe maybe one of those. Um, but it, I think it's a really really good figure, um, and obviously it's the Cyber Cyberman version, not the Cyber Leader. I couldn't track that one down, so I might have a look for that uh, on eBay. Um, but I, I am really glad I've got one of these because it's my favourite, my second favourite classic, uh, who Cybermen after the Mondasian Cybermen. And down here, I'm not sure if, uh, the camera can pick this up, but it is the, uh, Cyber, uh, the Cybermen's gun there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it for the packaging. Let's take a look at uh the actual figures oh but before i do i need to turn onto the back and obviously there it says uh come on focus focus there we go cyber there it says cyberman with uh the cyberman there third doctor there and the uh Rassilon robot um I, don't, I think it does come with the uh, different pair of hands because obviously there it's stood in a different pose. But there's only one way to find out. Let's open the box. So here they all are out of the box. And what can I say? They are some amazing figures. First of all, unfortunately, uh, this figure doesn't come with any swappable hands. Um, but what is interesting is, as you can see by the joints there, um, it, it can move uh, all 360 degrees, which is, uh, which is really good. But I won't be displaying it like that. Um, so over over here we have John Pertwee. Again, a pretty standard figure. Uh, you can't really move the arms because the cape is restricting it. And please don't fall over. Thank you. Um, but yeah, pr pretty good figure. Um, 
it, as General Grievous says in Star Wars Episode 3, this will make a fine addition to my collection. And finally, which was probably the main thing which attracted me to wanting this set, was uh, a Earthshock Cyberman. Um, so uh, here you have that little panel which um, the Fifth Doctor presses Adric's star on. Um, and there we have his face. You can see like the little mouth there. And there on the Season 19 collection box set, um, you can see that um, like one of the mic pieces had fallen down and uh, the Fifth Doctor had to try and rescue it. And it was uh, pretty funny. Um, and here is the cyber gun. Uh, I don't really want to take it off because it's literally took me like 15 minutes to get it in a position that I was happy with so um, I'll just uh, show you like this so uh, here we have uh, the gun um, I'm surprised surprisingly uh, when it got announced I straight away didn't know that um, it included this and I thought um, and I thought well it was really good for them to include it but I didn't expect this amount of detail um, as it was on all like the original release back in like 2011 I think it was um but yeah there is quite a lot of detail there obviously you have the red strip uh there well which lights up um not on the toy but it lights up in uh the show um and the strap and it comfortably fits on one of one of the Cyberman's shoulders um but yeah, I think this is a really great set to get. So now on to my overall thoughts. So what do I think of this set? I think it is absolutely amazing. Um, if uh, if you are planning to get this set, I would definitely recommend. It is in most uh, B&Ms. Um, and I would definitely recommend getting it before um, before it sells out. Um, but yeah, great, great figure, high, great figures, highly recommend them, and um, I definitely think they should make more unique uh, figure packs like this, and uh, as of like in January, um, uh, K1 and 4 of Doctors are going to get released, and I'll be definitely getting that, because I've wanted a K1 figure for ages, so um so I'll definitely be unboxing that when I get my hands on it. So um, let me know what you think of this set in the comments section down below. And um, have you got any uh, of the B&M sets? And did you get any What Doctor Who gifts did you get for Christmas? Let me know in the comments section down below. And hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.